Hi everyone, this is Sky with Nifty Project Management and today we're going to do a brief product overview. If you have any questions about how Nifty can work specifically to your team's workflow, I encourage you to reach out to us through the Help Center right here. So when you start a new project, you are going to be dumped out onto the milestone screen. And the milestone screen is great because it allows you to really put forward the high level objectives you're looking to accomplish and what time frame you're looking to accomplish them within this project. I'm going to collapse my sidebar here to get a little bit more view. Um, so within each of these milestones, you have smaller items that you need to accomplish to get to these different uh, kind of objective points. And so these are your individual tasks. You can see right here, you can uh, create and manage these tasks from one screen. So I can actually continue to create tasks and elongate what we need to do to complete this milestone. Additionally, I can go in and further customize these tasks such as assign them to specific users, give them due dates, tags, and even subtasks. We have built-in files right on these tasks and comments so you can really keep information right where you need it to make sure it's organized and actionable within your project. Additionally, premium plan users will have access to our time tracker. You are also able to subscribe to tasks. That means even if you're not um, assigned to this task, you can stay on top of it with uh, getting updates regarding this task. You can hide tasks from guests. This is great for you know, agencies who are internally managing timelines and then they have a delivery timeline. So if you don't want the client to see all the necessarily ugly parts of, of uh, creation and you can just kind of present the beautiful parts. You can also create a lit, I'm sorry, a URL to reference this task quickly as well as archive this task. So you have uh, a lot of customization of your task within this milestone. You can even move them between your task lists on the task screen. We'll get there in a moment. But what you can see here is that once we begin to accomplish these tasks, we're getting this propelled uh, milestone. So we can see that it automates our progress reporting here just by accomplishing what we need to do within this project. When you go to other milestones, you'll see that we have this ability to set a dependency. And what that means is I can lock the tasks in this uh, in this milestone, in this project's phase, until all of the tasks in the previous phase are accomplished. This is a great way to enforce a workflow inside your organization. So we're gonna actually move over to the task board now to get a sense of what's really going on behind the scenes here on the milestone experience. And you can see we have a Kanban style task board. And what we're really doing on this milestone screen is creating tasks here. We saw that new tasks phase when we were creating those tasks. And we can move them across lists. And then when we hit that checkbox, we move them to the completed pile. What the completed pile means is, and we can see it's highlighted green here, is that this, this task is finished. And that's how Nifty knows this task is finished. You can create additional task lists and also create additional completed piles. So you can really customize what it means to have something be done inside of Nifty. But, but using this lightning bolt and this completed mechanism is really the crux to making sure that those milestones can update themselves successfully. Um, you can even flip your task and task board into more of a grid style experience if you like to use more of lists and it gives you a little bit more of a vertical experience rather than that Kanban agile style flow. Additionally, you have the ability to filter tasks. So if you want to take certain tasks off the board or if you want to find ones that are just assigned to you within this project, you can do so up here. Again, you can create new task lists, move them around and reorder them as you see fit. So it's really a moldable experience. And these tasks are kind of like we were looking at before inside the milestones, we're able to continue to rig these out. You're also given task tags, and this is a good way to just give another layer of information to quickly reference. So if I wanna find all tasks that are related to the mobile experience of this project, we can pull that up quickly. Again, another way to really cut through the large load of tasks into actionable things that you might find meaningful at that time. Um, next, we have the discussion experience, and this is the built-in discussion channel right here in the project. It's a great way to make sure these little uh, back and forths between team members or outside project stakeholders are all kept in place and are not being scattered across different tools or different chat experiences. Um, so again, we have this kind of project baked in discussion board that has a couple neat features of actionability. 
for example, we can create tasks right out of um, out of a piece of discussion thread. So we can say here, this is something that we want to create a task out of. I can actually edit this and go ahead and put this into one of my lists to kind of close that gap between discussion and action. We can also create a thread off of a piece of discussion to kind of make sure when we're giving feedback or clarifying questions, we keep that all in order. We can also see here that there's a document. You're able to launch documents right here inside your discussion channel. And what that allows you to do is quickly invite everyone to this document. Inviting everyone to a document inside the discussion channel makes sure everyone who's in the channel can automatically get involved in that document. You can also flip over to the docs module where you're given a couple of options as to what documents you can use. We have a built-in document tool here in Nifty, our, our native one, which is a little bit more of a lightweight um, collaborative document experience, but we also have integration with Google Documents, Spreadsheets, and Presentation, which allows you to actually craft Google Documents right here in Nifty and file them not only in your G Drive, but right here with your project to make it a little bit more actionable. Lastly, we have a files reservoir here in Nifty where you can sort through the different file types to find what you're looking for pretty quickly. So for projects that have a lot of different files, you can cut through that really easily and find what you're looking for. So we can see how the different modules inside of a project really make sure Nifty is an end-to-end -end experience for project and team management where discussion, collaboration, action, and reporting are joined together and ultimately automated at the end of the day. And this is really valuable to understand where we stand within a project, but this value is extended when you go to our overview screen and you can see the stance on all of our different projects running at once within this organization. We can see maybe some are a little bit behind and we can see what uh, is required to get those up to speed. And so again, it gives you this kind of cross organizational insight that a lot of teams and organizations currently don't have as the fractured array of tools really let this information slip through the gaps. Additionally, I can see what my different team members are up to, see what tasks they have due, um, what time they've logged on tasks, if they have logged time on tasks. So it gives you a lot of flexibility and insight across your team. Now, when you have tasks assigned to you across all of your different projects, you want to be able to find that in one place. So you have your My Work tab where you can pull open all of your tasks that are assigned to you across of the different projects so you know where to start on any given day as far as uh, kind of knocking off the things on your list. Lastly, we have a built-in team chat. So you also don't need to jump to a tab to discuss things further. You can keep that all in your project. And we have a little window style chat rather than the, the full screen to allow you to kind of work and multitask at the same time. Really, what we find here is that this team chat is great because it allows us to really clarify things quickly without getting into that kind of uh, discussion wormhole that a lot of external chat devoted tools can turn into. Now, when we have a project that we really like or we frame it as something that is kind of a, an archetype for future projects, we're given options here. We can either duplicate this project, which means all of the data is copied over, or at least whatever we want to carry over as far as who said what, what's assigned to whom, and you have that all hardwired and really fleshed out. Additionally, you're able to create a template out of this information and what creating a template does is allow you to save the different items that you want to quickly launch a similar project in the future. This isn't going to carry over correspondence or files, but what this will allow you to do is kind of have that, that structure. So the next time you create a project, you know you want to have your specific um, kind of template to work off of. So it's really an, a quick, efficient way to launch future projects with a set workflow and, and set people to accomplish those things. So again, this is really kind of the, the lightning review here of Nifty. There's a lot more you can do. So if you have any questions at all, please ping our help center or uh, set up a demo with us directly. And don't forget to check out our dark mode. It's beautiful, isn't it? All right. Well, uh, have fun with your project management, and I hope to hear from you.